Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie and I am here today to talk about a couple of um, news topics and basically give my opinions and thoughts, my reactions. Um, I'm going to be talking about two things today regarding two breaking news articles I saw this morning. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, Real Housewife Dorit Kemsley. She's on the Housewives of Beverly Hills on Bravo. And she was apparent, allegedly robbed at um, gunpoint yesterday in her Beverly Hills home. Uh, the article I read said that there was $800, $800,000 worth of um, merchandise stolen from her home. And I know that she shares uh, two children with her husband, PK. I know there's like one little girl, one little boy, and I honestly can't imagine the fear she really went through. Um, I really think that it's wild that these Beverly Hills um, celebrities are keep being the victims of these burglaries and attacks. It's scary, and I honestly, every time I hear about it, it kind of just, I really feel bad for them. Um, I know that a lot of people are under the impression that oh like they don't mind sharing their riches because she's on television and like she shows her house and she shows her closets with like thousands of Prada bags and like flashes her jewelry on the television show or like on her Instagram um but I never think that anyone is deserving of like that kind of fear or experiencing that trauma um for example Kim Kardashian when she was robbed in Paris a couple years ago I remember her sharing her experiences on the television show and it was really just like gut-wrenching um to hear her detail the experiences that she went through um I also can't imagine like kind of going through that fear especially when you have children uh I know that her children live with her so I pray that they weren't in the house for that experience also um I think that the solution to that would be to have to up their security in Beverly Hills. Um, I mean, I can imagine these people living in giant mansions and having um, a gate company to kind of like manage who goes in and out of the neighborhood. But I really think that it's sad and scary. And yeah, I, I really sympathize for her. I can't imagine going through that. Um, and it's really, it must be scary as a celebrity in Beverly Hills or no matter where you live, like kind of not feeling safe where you're, where you're living at, um, which is a horrible feeling to imagine because I have dogs and like I have my apartment and I think that like when I'm here at my home, it's like my safe space. Like I really don't, I always make sure my doors are locked and everything, but I'm, this is like the place where I can like let go and kind of relax and enjoy my time alone. Um, I can't imagine having to worry about security being around and, like, making sure my house is watched 24-7 or under surveillance. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the news topics I thought was worth bringing up for discussion today. Um, the second news topic I wanted to talk today about was Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid. So, it looks like the couple has split again. Um... I know they've been on and off for probably five, six years plus. They have a daughter together. She's not even a year old. Um, I am just, like, I'm not really surprised, but I definitely was, like, I didn't expect that. I mean, their daughter was just born. Um, the real kicker is how there is now an alleged um, assault claim or, like, domestic violence between Yolanda Hadid, which is Gigi's mom. And Zayn, she claims that Zayn got physical with her. Apparently, she came unannounced when Gigi was not home. And her and uh, Zayn got into a verbal altercation, which then led to him supposedly pushing her against the dresser. Um, and she's filing a lawsuit or, like, suing? I'm not really quite sure. But there's legal documents claiming that he pushed her and she felt unsafe and it was the domestic violence abuse. Um, I thought that was wild. Like I could not, I did not see that coming. Like Zayn Malik. Yes. I kind of felt that he always had like, I don't know. He had like a suspicious 
not suspicious, but like he was very ominous. Like he was the first one to leave One Direction. He's always been very hush hush about his life. He's got like a dark kind of vibe going on, but I always respected it. I was like, cool, he's got tattoos. He's like, seems easy going. Um, I obviously don't know him personally. I don't know their situation entirely and I cannot make assumptions, but I definitely was surprised by the news when I saw that this morning on um, my social networks. I also feel like so bad for Gigi because that's like her, I don't want to say childhood sweetheart, but that's like her, she's been with him since she was younger. Um, I know they've been on and off, but like at the end they got back together and they had a daughter together now. Um, so they're going to have to figure out how to co-parent amicably and navigate raising their daughter and kind of figure out the family dynamic. Um, I remember watching Yolanda actually on The Real Housewives again of Beverly Hills a couple years ago and she seemed very like I love her character I think she was fabulous on the tv show um but there were some traits that I saw like a little overbearing so I don't know I can't make my own assumptions but from what I've seen I can imagine her I can see her stopping by unannounced never saying that that's warranting ever assigned domestic violence because that's never excusable um but I can see like I just would love to be a fly on the wall during those family conversations or be at the table for a family discussion. I just, I don't know. I can't imagine what they discuss. Um, but yeah, this video is a little bit shorter. I just kind of want to talk about those two stories I saw on the news this morning. Um, I'm glad Dorit and her children and her husband are okay after the terrifying robbery they experienced. And I wish Gigi and Zane and Yolanda and their entire family, the baby, I wish them nothing but health and nothing but positivity in the future. Um, I look forward to speaking to you guys again. And uh, if you get a chance, you know, browse my website, drop some comments below. I'd love to give my thoughts on some topics that you guys would think are like juicy or something good to talk about. Um, alrighty, I will see you guys next time. Until then, adios, have a great weekend.